Hey Hawks, Cy the Matchmaker back to drop some teen dating violence knowledge on you. Let's see what our secret admirer says today. Dear Cy, did you know? One in three young people will be in an abusive or unhealthy relationship. Wow, that's a lot considering how many young people date nowadays. Let's see what our other one says. Only one in three of teens who are involved in an abusive relationship talk about their situation. This is very unhelpful because this means no one knows to help and speaking up is the most important things to do in these situations. Well, that's all the time I have for now. Have a great day, Hawks, and remember, speak up about dating violence. I hope you can join us for tomorrow for our last broadcast for teen dating violence. Bye-bye for now. Love is like how you show your passion and your love to him. Um, that's probably that feeling that you put their priorities in front of yours. I feel like love is when you really care about someone and you have strong feelings for another, another person. You can't really define love, I mean. I guess to me it's like, oh, when like you're willing to deal with a person, like with their faults and their flaws. What's not love is not being there for that person even when they're in trouble or when something's wrong or going good and you don't want to be there, that's not love, so. A temporary thing. I don't think it can be something that can just leave. Like not love, you you won't treat that person as if they're important to like, as a, like a family member, you could say, or like, you don't see them as a priority as you would with someone that's in your family. Love not is when he's abusive, he hits on you, and you can't do anything about it. So you have to like tell your parents of what he's doing wrong. And so like if he's abusive, he shouldn't be hitting on you. So you shouldn't go for people who's going to hit on you. You should just leave him. <laughs>